Hello, YouTube. Oh, I'm sorry, Copper. I woke up the puppy. I wanted to talk to you today about the first book review of the year. Um, I finished the first book of the year. It's 2018. It's kind of weird. Um, the last two videos you saw were pre-filmed in December. Copper does not look happy with me waking up from her from, up from her nap. But I am back. Oh, look, you can see the castle in my backyard. That's my castle that I played in as a kid. Oh, white bones. But anyway, I wanted to talk to you today about my book that I read. Um, so a few first things. Um, it wasn't a normal book, per se. It was a patio book. So, I'm sorry. Am I interrupting your nap time? If you have listened to my previous videos or I think I mentioned on my blog several times, I really enjoy listening to audiobooks and podcasts. Well, one of the podcasts that I listen to, which is the DRS podcast or the Dead Robot Society, which I know I have mentioned on my blog. It's one of the things I listen to when I'm in a writing slump. Um, I'll link that blog post, down, blog post down below. Wow. I haven't filmed in like three weeks or so, so this feels weird. But it also feels really good to be back and talking. Um, it took me a really long time to get the other videos uploaded. My computer just didn't want to do it. So we're going to come back to phone vlogging and see how that goes for a little bit at least. Um, wow, I am so rambly today. I am so sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, the DRS podcast, which is hosted by Paul E. Cooley and Terry Mixon right now. They used to be hosted by several other people. Um, not really sure where they took over. I am going back and listening. They have over 450 episodes, and they post weekly, so that gives you an idea. Um, they started back in 2007, I want to say. Last year, they celebrated 10 years, I believe. So, it's a lot of podcasts, and the most recent hosts, Terry Mixon and um, Paul E. Cooley, obviously are writers, and what the one author, Paul likes to do is as he writes his books and publishes them he creates audiobooks which he records himself and he sells them as regular podcasts but he all or audiobooks but he also releases them as podcasts so he will release um about 25 or it was about 15 to 30 minutes of audio a week and all he has to do to meet the audio requirements and things like that and copyright is have a small intro in the beginning and it's usually like two minutes long. Um, three minutes is like the max that he had in this first book. And then you get like little snippets. It's similar to what um, Welcome to Night Vale does except it is actual novels that you can also buy in paperback, in ebook, in a full length audiobook. But this is a way for his readers to have access to the book and kind of decide if they want to buy the rest of it and not have to wait because if you were listening in real time, you'd be listening to the book for say 30 weeks or 25 weeks and it'd be like little episodes. I'm sorry. I'm going to be talking for a while. She just looks so disgusted. Anywho. So, the first book that I listened to was The Black by Paul E. Cooley. And this book is a... I can't think of the actual synopsis right now, but pretty much what it is, is Paul takes monster movies like the blob and the thing and like Godzilla and things like that and combines those elements of suspense and like monster horror and creates books of them. 
So he created his own monster, and that's what the series is, and the monster is called Black, similar how to those are the ant or the thing or the blob. And the Black is a story about a group of scientists that is on an oil rig, and they are digging for oil. And they are doing research and things, and they tap into a section of a trench, and they pull up a sample, and things just go wrong really fast. Um, in the series, there's also Paraquil, um, which is the second book, which I haven't started yet, but I plan on starting, where the sample is sent to a lab in Houston, and they get stuff going on there as well. So, that was his first book, and that's like a synopsis of it. Um, if you don't want any spoilers, I would suggest you click away, but know that I gave the book a four-star rating, mainly because, um, I'm not really so sure how I feel about the podcast format. Um, I did enjoy it, like, it didn't really take away from the story too much, but it did in the fact that any time that the section ended, I had to go and find the next file and make sure it was downloaded and then go around that way, which is me just being lazy. <laughs> um, but overall, it didn't really take away from my enjoyment. It was more of just inconvenient. But had I been listening to it all in one go, it probably wouldn't have been an issue. Or weekly, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I have a bit of a cold. I feel like I always have a cold. It's just been a really rough week, which has resulted in me having a cold again. My immune system sucks. So, if you don't want any more spoilers, I mean, I haven't really given it anyway. If you don't want any spoilers, then click away now, but know that I will miss you. Okay. Did all the little non-spoiler people leave? Oh, the copper's leaving too. Oh, are you just gonna nest? You're re, re, re nest. Okay. So, this book was interesting. Now, I knew from listening to the podcast that it could be quite violent, and because of the nature of the podcast, there was always a warning on the front of it, being like, hey, this has adult content and violence. Um, there was a lot of swearing, which I actually enjoyed because it kept to the type of people that they had working on the rig, um, like rough, uh, redneck type of people, um, where they swear a lot, and it was kind of refreshing because a lot of traditional published authors, I should have said that at the beginning, uh, Cooley is a self-published author, um, who also works with a small publishing house. I'm not sure of the exact details, but for the most part, he publishes the work. They just sort of help with marketing. I believe I could be wrong on that. Um, but he's self-published in his other works. That I know. Um, but he, he has his character swear so much. And it's honestly really refreshing because you see... A lot of authors filter out that swearing, but for some characters, it's a really integral part. Um, if you don't like swearing, do not listen to this book or read this book, because it's a lot. <laughs> um, also, if you don't like everyone dying, don't listen to this book. Cooley is known for killing off most of his characters and not really caring. Also for leaving really big cliffhangers. So that gives you an idea of what this story might be going into it and you don't like that idea, then don't read it, I guess. Like, I enjoyed it. Um, I found the suspense at times a bit lacking. I kind of wished it was a bit higher. Um, but again, that could have been the nature of listening to it in a patio book form versus like a straight audio book and having to go through those pauses where it's like, okay, the suspense is broken and it's like, okay, let's go into this next session where the shit really hits the fan and it gets really intense and you're like, 
okay. Because then you're expecting it versus it just happening. Yeah. So that broke it a bit for me, which is also why I gave it the four star rating. Um, overall, I think Cooley did a really good job picturing the and showing the characters in their different races. Um, there were several Hispanic characters. Uh, I believe there was a black character, and each character that we met, while I got confused with names, um, and some of them each had a clear story and a clear motive, um, even if they were only there for that one 25-minute clip, you still felt like they had their spot, spotlight moment, so... It was really well thought out and researched, I also think. Um, I don't know that much about oil rigs, but it seemed really clear. Like, I think he had to have had, like, a map of an oil rig and, like, based it off that because the clear way he did... I, I honestly don't know what an oil rig looks like, so as he's describing... Like, Oh, they went here, and then they went there. I was picturing, like, this weird spaceship thing. Um, but that's kind of what an oil rig is to me. <laughs> but to other people, I'm sure it would be so clear and so correct. Um, I know in the past that Cooley has sent books to um, science readers to critique and tell him whether or not it's correct. So, yeah. What else can I say about this? Um, I just thought it was really well done. I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm excited to start the next one. I just have several other things that I'm reading right now. But yeah, if you enjoy suspense, thriller, you think you'll enjoy a sort of movie monster type of plot, um, and you don't hate a ton of swearing and people dying, J or uh, George Martin, J, J George. Martin Game of Thrones style, that's the best way to describe it, then yeah, I'd say go for it. It was a really good book. Okay, that was really fast. I know I talked really fast. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go. I don't know when this is going to go up, so I'm not going to say when it's going to go up in case it changes because it's going to. Um, but yeah. I miss you. Follow me on all of the social media, which will be linked down below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!